Okay, we have written another integral from the MIT integration review from 2006. This one's problem 15. We have the integral of natural log x all squared dx. Okay, to get started with this, the thing I notice when we have natural log in an integral, there's only a few things typically we want to try. The most common way I like to handle this is going to be with integration by parts. Sometimes we like to do a u substitution, but there's nothing really to substitute with because there's nothing else in the integral. So what we'll do is go ahead with integration by parts using the DI method or tabular integration over here to the right. And what I want to do is just differentiate everything and I'll create a one here to integrate just so we have two parts. So we'll integrate the one and we'll differentiate natural log x all squared. Then we'll go ahead and differentiate. So first we're going to use the power rule on this, right? So that we're going to have, we'll bring the two out front here. So we'll have two natural log x, but then we need the chain rule. Derivative of ln x is going to be one over x. And then we'll go over here, I'll just integrate one, integral of one is just x. So we'll have part of our solution right there on the diagonal, let's write that first piece down. So we're gonna have x, ln x all squared. Then this stuff here is gonna be an integral, but the nice thing about that is x's are gonna just cancel. And so what we're doing is we're just gonna integrate, I'll bring the two out front, we're just integrating ln x dx. But then for this integral here, usually what we do is we just use integration by parts again. I oftentimes like to remember the formula, but let's just do the integration of parts really quick. We'll do a separate table and we'll do our DI method one more time. And so what we'll do is we'll differentiate natural log x and we'll integrate just one. And then we'll do this really quick. The derivative of ln x again is one over x. Integral of one is just x. So then let's put all the pieces together. So first we're gonna bring this down, x ln x all squared. We have a piece of the solution right here on the diagonal, but I wanna distribute it in this minus two. So I'm gonna write this as minus two x ln x. And then here, again, we get the cancellation. So here we're gonna be just integrating one. So what's gonna happen here is we have minus two and we're integrating one dx, but we actually have a minus here. So we'll cancel it here and we're just integrating two times integral of one. So this is just gonna give me two x. So let's just make a little bit of space. So we'll take this two x, we'll add it onto our solution and we'll tack on a plus c and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Quick integral from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.